Hello and welcome back everybody. Today I'm showing you how you can update your texture packs to Minecraft Java Edition 1.20.2. I'm going to be sharing this to you with the help of one of my own texture packs. Because yes, I make these, a lot of them actually. I'll link my page down in the description. If you want to check those out, I'd greatly appreciate it. Anyways, the first thing you want to do once, you've ha once you have your texture pack is just extract everything. Make sure that it is no longer a zip file. Now, if you've made texture packs before, you should know exactly how to do that. And if you haven't, then um, you, you'll need a program called 7-Zip. If this isn't a standard option over here, I will also link that in the description. Anyways, um, you can just open this up. And then what we want to focus on is the pack.mc meta. So ideally, you want to right click on that, go over to open with, and then select your preferred text editor. And it should look something like this. I'm using Notepad++, however, you can use stuff like Notepad or really anything you want. If that doesn't work, you want to rename it to pack.txt, just like so. It will prompt you with this little thing, but that doesn't matter. And then you should just be able to open it up anyways. What I want to look at over here is the pack format. Now, each Minecraft version has a different pack format. To get your pack to work for 1.20.2, you want to change this over to 18. Once that's been done, you can Control S to save it. Now, if you changed your pack.mc meta to pack.txt, it's very important that you change it back. And if you didn't change it, then you're all good to go. Once again, you'll get this pop up. Just click on yes, and you'll know you've done it correctly. If under type over here, it says MC meta file. Anyways, now we should be all good to get this pack working. So you want to select everything right over here, right click on them, and then click on compress the zip file over here. And then you can call it whatever you want. So in this case, H64 is custom background. There we are. And then 1.20.2, because that's the version I just made it for. Now you can load up Minecraft 1.20.2 of course, and in options and resource packs, you can drag the pack that you just updated, click on yes over here obviously, and now we can scroll down until we find our custom background, which is the only one that works here, as you can see, because we have just updated it. And as you can see, it is going to work just fine. Now, as you can see, this is the pretty cool thing it does over here. I've also actually got a tutorial on how you can make packs with a custom background like this yourself. If that sound in sounds interesting, I will link that down in the description for you. Anyways, for right now, though, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.